young boy as he learned the amazing color of his skin in Chocolate Meat, written by Tay Diggs, illustrated by Shane W. Evans. Ooh, look at these chocolate cupcakes, my favorite. Chocolate Me, Chocolate Me. When we play, they say, look where your skin begins. It's brown like dirt. Does it hurt to wash it off? Chocolate me. They often stare at my hair. Why do you look scared? It's so poofy and big like a wig. Not straight. Don't you hate to comb it? I don't really like to get my hair combed either. I like to let it be free. Chocolate me. As they pointed at my nose, I froze. It's so big and wide, I tried to hide. You should never make fun of anyone for how they look. Chocolate me. I squirmed and wiggled as they giggled at my teeth so white. You can be a flashlight at night. Just smile and we'll be all right. Chocolate me. Your teeth are supposed to be white. So that means you're very clean. When I came in from outside, I cried, why? I asked my moms. Why can't I be more like Timmy or John or Mark with straight hair and a different nose? I suppose my teeth wouldn't seem so bright if my skin were a bit more light, right? Chocolate me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you see where bullying can get you? And where it gets others? They start dining themselves. And then my mom said, wait one minute, my sweet, can't you see? You have skin like velvet fudge frosting mixed in a bowl. You can lick the spoon. Cotton candy hair soft to the touch of my fingertips. A braided like rose of corn with a twist. And your smile, she says. It makes me so happy I could cry. No amount of money could buy how it makes me feel. For real, it's perfect. Look, she says, look in the mirror and love what you see. Chocolate me. Oh, she got him a shirt that says chocolate me. Hmm, I started to think about my face, my skin, my nose, my fro. Chocolate me. What do you think he's thinking about? And what do you know? Along came Tim, Timmy and Johnny and Mark, who suddenly didn't seem so smart. And I started to smile and smile and smile. It felt so good I could taste it. Why? Because I am chocolate. It does look like a really nice skin color. Chocolate is sweet, chocolate is smooth, chocolate is beautiful and delicious. Chocolate is me. Oh, look, you see that little doggy in the background? And now he has a lot of friends. Chocolate me. The end. And now it's time for my five-star checklist. Number one, 
Does the cover pop? Yes, it does because it has a chocolate boy, and he looks so excited, and it looks like he's cheering for happiness. Number two, does it include rabbit pictures? Yes, it does because as you can see in this photo, there are so many colors, and there's a cute little doggy in the background, and he has so many friends now. Number three, did I learn something new? Yes, I did. What I learned was that you should always have self-love and be confident in yourself. Number four, can I relate to the book? Yes, I can because I've seen many black people get it treated wrong just because of the color of their skin. Number five, is it fun to read? Yes, it is because it's about a boy's adventure to find self-love and love himself. This book received five out of five stars. See you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central on Kidbits with Zoe Brown, Bedtime Book Adventures. Good night. We're going to take five.